Who you got? Who wins tonight? Skip, if this game was on Sunday, I would have picked the Eagles. Um, and I really tried to find a way that I, a scenario in which can the, the Eagles that could actually win this game. But it's a short week. Mm. I don't like short weeks for the traveling visiting team. And I don't like short weeks when the offensive line is played as poorly as Phillies has played. Mm. played. Um, and when you, you think of sacks, Wentz has gotten hit a lot. He's gotten hit 20 times in three games. Mm. Went down, I think, four or five times on Sunday. And you automatically think it's the offensive line's fault. Mm. But a lot of times, sacks, is three folds. Yeah, the offensive line needs to do a better job. But Wentz has to do a better job of getting the ball out also. Running backs play a role into that also. Mm. And plus, Dougie P. Doug Peterson mm. needs to be a, do a better job of calling plays, scripting plays, Skip. You mean that, fearful, right? No, oh, you know, fearless. they're less. Oh, yeah. No yeah, fearfulness. Hold on, you know what he did. Mm. You, know, you know what he did, Skip. What did he do? You know, took down. Took down, Tom. No, Belichick <laughs> took down, Tom. <laughs> no, he didn't. Doug Peterson needs to do a better job, the head coach of the uh, Eagles and offensive coordinator. He needs to do a better job of getting the mm. ball out of Wentz's hands. Mm. Sometimes I think he calls plays and because... The big play, big play, big play. Everything is not meant to be a home run, Skip. You got to get the ball out. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, coverage, you should know, okay, this, I got this rock call. Coverage is going to dictate. One's going to be taken away. So automatically, you're, you're thinking two to three. Mm. Wentz doing a lot, of, a lot of this, a lot of uh -oh. this. I watched, uh -oh. I watched, Skip, I watched the play uh, Sunday in which the Lions sacked Wentz. They had a four-man rush, and at the end of the play, not one Lion was being blocked by an eagle, and all their players, the defensive line, was on wins. Mm. That's not a good look. <laughs> I just can't. Uh, I just think this, the, the, the Packers' defense is playing unbelievable. Now, Zadarius Smith, uh, he was limited in practice yesterday, but Preston Smith was uh, NFC mm -hmm. Defensive Player of the Year. Week, year, week. He's been unbelievable. Mm. Bo Smith has been unbelievable. The, the uh, Pack defense has been unbelievable. And... This game really, it really should, I'm thinking, blow out, blow out, blow out. But Aaron Rodgers hadn't played well. I can no. see that he hadn't played well. No. So I'm going to take the Packers in a very close ball game. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say the Pack win 24-20. Really? Yes. Wow. And I know what you're saying, the 20. Eagles. What about the Eagles? What, but see, what, I, 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 not, not I know what you're say. Here's the thing. Very patient. Even though they're going to drop the one in three, that means nothing because you know why? Huh. We're going to play you guys twice. Oh. And we're going to take both of them. Really? And be right back in the thick of What happened last year when you played us twice? The last year was last oh. year. Oh, okay. Very interesting. So, I, I think I was hearing Shannon Sharp give up on the Eagles. That's I what it sounded like to me. I, I heard all kinds of give up talk. No, I just told Offensive you. line is way overrated because they were ranked number one coming into the yeah, year, right? Yeah. Yes. And... Carson W I N C E. He's patting that football because I told you he goes deer in headlights. He just seems to go mind lock in there. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it through a brick wall, and he fires one, and five defensive players get their hands on it, and it winds up incomplete because he throws it 114 miles an hour. That's the Carson W I N C E that I see. And to your point, they're not protecting him, and yet. Yeah, I, I'm hearing concession speech from you. Well, they're not protecting him, Skip. And another reason they can't protect him is because they can't run the football. And when you can't run the football and the teams know you can't run the mm. football, that gives them extra opportunity to get after your quarterback. Mm. And plus, they're falling behind. Mm. And so it kind of takes your run game out. You remember the first game, they dropped down 17-0. Mm. Well, it kind of takes you out of your run game mm. because you got to throw the ball to catch up. And it puts you at harm's way because the more you throw it, the better chances that eventually mm. they'll get to you. So Shannon Sharp who picked the Eagles to win the yeah. NFC East and picked my Cowboys to miss the playoffs. Okay. Mm. In part because the Eagles are going to win the East, Still right? Are. Still are. Okay. He, he's saying that his team, the Eagles, will fall tonight to one and three. Mm -hmm. And that will mean that for, for a couple of days, it's going to be one and three for the Eagles versus three and oh for Dallas mm -hmm. until Dallas plays Sunday right. night at yep. New Orleans, yep. right? Mm-hmm. And so three-game lead. Okay. And get walked down at the end. Okay. And yet, could we please take a look at what's coming up for your Philadelphia Eagles? <laughs> they do get one quote-unquote break because they get a home game against the, the Jets. But then here's what happens. Jenny's Vikings mm -hmm. go uh, – I mean, they have to go visit at, at Minnesota. So they go but to you Minnesota. Got no, you got little to no respect for Cousins. Okay, but it's still at Minnesota, and they're pretty good at home. They're, they're pretty you. tough at home. 
And then they have to go to Dallas. That's the first matchup this year. Go to Dallas. Mm. You're saying a win. I'm saying a big L. Then they have to go to Buffalo. And I do not think Buffalo's a cakewalk in Buffalo. No. I just don't. Maybe for Tom Brady, but not for no. Carson Wentz. Okay. And then next game up is Bears at home. That's definitely not a cakewalk. And then the next game up, I'm going all the way to November 17th, is at New England. So after one little breather against the Jets, and I think Sam Darnold says he's going to come back for that game, oh, for what wow. that's worth. Okay. Then it goes at Vikings, at Cowboys, at Bills, Bears, and at New England. And then if I can just throw in, they get the Seahawks at home. Again, that's not a gimme either. That's not a pushover game. Yeah. And, and guess what? I see over there we got the Dolphins in there. We okay. Got the the, after, right? after that, it breaks up. But but that's the next after Green Bay. You know, so you're already saying that's a loss. So then then you got Vikings, Cowboys, mm-hmm. Bills, mm-hmm. Bears, mm-hmm. Patriots, Seahawks. And that's one, two, three, four, five. That's six more games that could all be L's. They could be L's. And then the, we win in five or six. Then then the skies open, and all of a sudden the sun shines, and you go at Dolphins, Giants, at Redskins. You do have the Cowboys coming to Philly. That's no gimme. For that's sure. gonna be for the division. And then you finish at Daniel Jones. I don't know. Maybe he'll be on, still be on fire by then. I don't know. That Cowboy the, the game. The point is, they they could conceivably fall if I give them the Jets game. So that would be two and three. What if they lose all these games? <laughs> two and four, two and five, two and six, two and seven, two and eight, two and nine. Do you think they could come back from two and nine to win the division? They're not going to beat you. Shannon again. Sharp, you're in trouble. <laughs> That's the point. You have just picked your team to lose at Green Bay. Okay. And what's, what I still think is a winnable game because yeah. I'm not buying into Aaron Rodgers as he approaches age 36. Okay, are you picking Eagles? Well, it's my turn, right? Okay, well, go ahead. Okay. So. This was a tough one for me because mm. I'm conflicted because I just don't love either of the quarterbacks. <laughs> but it's hard. tonight, I obviously need to pick with my heart. So tonight, I have no objectivity as in picking this game. I admit it. I'm picking totally with my heart. I'm picking Aaron Rodgers. I don't like Aaron oh, Rodgers. Oh, you wanted to win just because of the Eagles. Yes. It's, it's I don't vision. like Aaron's arrogance. I don't like his thin skinness. I don't like his blame deflecting and finger pointing. I just don't like anything about it. Ter- is Tom Brady arrogant? In his own way, but it's quiet arrogance. It's it's sort of camouflaged arrogance. What quarterback doesn't have to have some supreme self-confidence, right? Okay, Aaron wears it on his sleeve. Okay, yeah, he does, and he wears it on his finger because he's pointing it at all, (laughs) right? Makes sense. Yeah. So the point is that tonight I'm going to go with Aaron Rodgers just because I believe this is a big night for him. This is a solo stage NFL game, a showcase game. Mm -hmm. And surely he can play a little better than he's played so far. In our, and we did the pro football focus yeah. rankings through three weeks. Mm-hmm. He's ranked ninth, which is not bad, but it's not what we have come to expect for Aaron Rodgers. And in their breakdown of him about what, why fans should be concerned about Aaron Rodgers is, it, it, they start off with saying, Aaron Rodgers is not a bad quarterback. Let's make that clear. That being said, we have seen a more conservative side to his game recently. And I told you over the last four seasons – he has slowly eroded statistically as far as completion percentage and QBR. They've sunk a little bit each but, but year. But, Skip, I, I think this year is you have to look at his defense. He's only trailed. Okay. So right. you don't need to be as ultra-aggressive okay. as he's maybe needed to be in the past. Okay, yet they point out again, he shattered their record for throwaways. It was actually his record for throwaways last year. And I told you, if he doesn't like a play, he's so savvy now that if, if he thinks there's any danger of throwing a pick, he just throws it in the ground or throws it in the stands. And well, that's what Brady does, right? Okay. Isn't no. that the reason why he doesn't have any negative throws? No, he, he picks the right receiver. Okay, what if the right, right receiver isn't open? Uh, well, somebody's always open. No, but, there's not. But, but uh, this guy, Aaron Rodgers, is looking for the home run. And if the home run isn't open, he throws it away. So Pro Football Focus concludes that throwaways aren't necessarily a bad thing because it's better than throwing a pick. Exactly. But if it gets to a point this season where Aaron Rodgers needs to make things happen, can he flip the switch back to the dominant passer we saw in the past? Yes. In the past, or the operative words there, in the past. I I just haven't seen it for so long. I tell you when you're going to see it. You'll definitely see it tonight, and you'll see it again next Sunday. Mm. You will see it next Sunday. Okay. Will you be watching? That is the good news. Bad news of tonight is I'm rooting like mad for Aaron Rodgers, but then, unfortunately for my Cowboys, 
then Aaron Rodgers and his team get 10 days to yeah. get ready this for many. a game at Jerry World. This many. Okay, that's a lot. A lot. But, yes. but I still need the Eagles to take a big L tonight <laughs> and to feel real bad about themselves as they head into the roughest part of their schedule. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.